Next, we got Predator from 87 and The Forgotten from 2009, I think. Ugh. Ah, 2005, my bad. So this has, this is the extended cut actually, it has both versions, it's got you know, the original shit and then the extended cut with deleted scenes and alternate ending incorporated. I love this actually, because I'd seen it before, didn't remember how it ended, and then I rewatched it, loved it. Eight, eight out of 10. This is definitely a solid nine, easily. That's got a reflective face, which I hate. I mean, the reflective faces are cool, but that's fucking annoying when you are trying to do a video and there's a glare. It's annoying. So bonus features for this, not much. It's just, you know, your standard DVD. But I won't be upgrading to Blu-ray on this because I didn't feel like it. This also had a slip cover, but the slip cover got damaged from being wet, so I just you know tore it up through in the trash. This, so I don't, I didn't keep. I told you about that. Uh, Christ, probably last year sometime. Yeah, when I was doing uh, my video walkthrough, my vids that I own, a lot of my. Oh, <laughs> recap a lot of the slip covers I had from my movies ended up getting damaged in the storage unit so I went through them and salvaged what I could tossed out the rest so this is a reflective ish cover I like it though it's pretty and the special features you know obviously the two versions of the film commentary on the set remembering the forgotten and there you go. So, and this has a little... You unfold. Nope, you don't. So it's a double-sided insert for movies and stuff. I own Identity. That is definitely a god-tier film for me. Mothman Prophecies is really good. Secret Window. That was okay. Panic Room. That was good. I don't remember how I really felt about it, though. So, there's... Wow. Come on, bitch. There you go. There is the disc for The Forgotten. And this is actually a clever movie. I want to get into this real quick. While I'm fresh about it. Because I had to actually look it up on my Facebook. So, The Forgotten is a story about Julianne Moore's character who can't recall her she remembers her son but everybody else doesn't and her husband doesn't as well and so does everybody else they don't remember her having a kid or any of that shit so she goes on this whole journey trying to find her kid and what it turned out to be was um aliens and whatnot controlling thoughts and such Sounds stupid to some people, because people don't like, I don't know, stupid shit. But for me, that was pretty intense. Like, that was really, really fucking intense. Um, and it, it's, it's such a good movie. I loved it. Because it just, it, it was, it was a huge plot twist that I didn't see coming. Like, I couldn't remember what it was about, what happened. Um... Oh, now I'm thinking of Premonition. I was like, oh, this takes, this gets told in reverse. No, that's Premonition. Premonition's good, too. That's Sandra Bullock. But no, this, this is really good. This I liked. This I'm going to keep. I'm going to put it in storage, though, because I don't want to watch it again until probably a few years from now, maybe. Um, or something, I don't know. But yeah, 8, 8 out of 10 for sure. Then we get into the cult classic that is Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger from 1987. Yes, this is everything you could want in an action flick. You have giant muscles, lots of sweat. Arnold Schwarzenegger, even though his last name is racist. But we let that pass because he did all that cool shit in the 80s. Yeah. 
And it's got big fucking guns because that triggers people because they don't know how to understand shit. And we're in 2020, and that's not cool. And it's racist and offensive. And that motherfucker has a vagina face. Thanks for watching my TED Talk. <laughs> kidding. Totally kidding. No, I like Predator. Actually, between all four Predator films, this one is actually about three on my list. I like Predator 2 over Predator. Yeah, I'm that, I'm that type. I like Danny Glover and Predator over this. Like, this one is iconic in every way, shape, and form. But Predator 2 really shines a lot better versus this. Like, I, I love Predator 2. That shit is just so damn funny. And it's much more intense and darker. And it's a better sequel, honestly. It's it, like it outshines the original to me. So, yeah, what happens with this is Dutch goes into the jungle with his commando crew. And they basically get their asses raped by Home Slice Predator, a.k.a. Yajuta. And... You know, big explosions, badassery. Whole forest gets raped by a bunch of bullets because, you know, I don't know. Rain, hashtag rainforest lives matter. Yep, that poor forest that got mowed down so badly. It didn't do anything to them, damn it. I'm offended. <sighs> Kidding, I'm not really offended. Fuck that. <laughs> All-star cast with this. Well, not all-star, but three all-stars in it. Yeah. Yeah, three all-stars, yeah. Couldn't think straight. Fun fact. Originally, Jean-Claude Van Damme was going to play the Predator. Yeah. And uh, he saw the suit that they were working with originally and said, fuck that, and dropped out. Yeah, because originally it was going to be some giant lizard thing that was attacking them in the forest, in the jungle, like, and then he said, fuck that, and dropped out, and they redesigned the suit, brought in somebody new, and voila, we have a cult classic. So, yeah, that was The Forgotten and Predator. <laughs> so fuck you out of the two of these which one is superior now if you're yelling at the screen you better say predator you better pick predator oh, oh, I'll leave an angry comment in your comment section ah. you know what the forgotten's better faggot <laughs> <laughs> you can't say back then, that's offensive. <laughs> anyway, it's for real though. Between the two of these, uh, badassery versus plot twist. Hmm. I like plot twist more. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the Forgotten. I hate you. <laughs> oh, whatever, I don't give a fuck. So, if you don't like the casting in these movies, obviously you won't like these. If you don't like cult classic films, you won't like this. If you have a problem with female leads, you definitely won't like this. If you have a problem with uh, ow, that really hurt. Ma macho shit and all that, you won't like this. However, if you don't have a problem with any of that, you'll like these films. You know, it's like, give them a chance. You know, don't just, you know, turn your nose up at them because you heard bad reviews or 
you are instantly glued to sucking rotten tomatoes as cock. You know, form your own fucking opinions, you know. Goes a long way. Because some people don't like people who can't formulate their own goddamn opinions on shit, so. Yeah, fun. So if you don't like any of this shit, no, that's cool. I get it. Not everybody likes the same stuff. Even I don't like the same stuff. And I got a very diverse portfolio of movies and TV shows I've watched and like and don't like. So, yeah, that's how I feel about these movies. So, I will be back in a little bit. I need to check the sunset. Stay tuned.